one. Um, a couple of things. This is a short, quick little video, a follow-up video mainly towards the, the one that we did before, which was the African soft furred rats versus a normal rat. Okay, so a couple of things. Um, a couple of people made some real great um, sort of pointers in the comment in the last video. Um, Mark at Balls Out Ball Pythons basically pointed out that um, he bred his own African soft furred rats and he actually found that they were quite aggressive. Now, <clears throat> what I can tell you from that, from my experience, is <clears throat> all our African soft furred rats are non aggressive. Okay, and what we have noticed again, because obviously breeding um, rats and African soft furred rats, um, what we have noticed is that the temperament of the parents actually follow on into the babies okay so if you're going to go out and start breeding your own either whether it be rats or african soft fur rats please make sure that the animals the the, the future you know the, the future breeders are actually going to have good temperaments okay so that's volatile because obviously you're going to be working with these animals and you want them to have a great temperament obviously so you can actually deal with them handle them etc etc the last thing you want is some crazy rat coming at you kung fu style you know going all crazy because you've opened the tub or you've opened the cage so remember temperament what we've noticed does breeding down into the babies okay that's the first thing a couple other things um was that if you swap your snakes onto african soft fur rats you need to be aware that they may only take african soft fur rats from there on in okay so if you are going to swap them over please make sure that a you've got a great you know a good supplier or great supply where you can get them from or b you if you breed them yourself not a problem because obviously you're going to have plenty of supply okay guys so make sure you've got a good supply of african soft fur rats if you're going to swap them over okay now on the other side of them that thing is if you're female um, and I'm talking about a, a breeder female um, when they tend to go into breeding mode or, or into, into a, a feeding craze that's the time when you can swap them from one to the other okay um, most of my females aren't picky um, they will you know if they want food they'll eat whatever's put in front of them so I'm pretty lucky in that aspect um, what I do try and do all the babies that we have the, the, the hatchlings we put them on uh, rats or rat pups obviously because we're going to sell that baby and what we don't want we don't want that person that's buying the baby to have any complications in feeding or, or any problems getting the, the babies but you know the, the rat chubs or the rat pups so the ones that we decide to keep once we they finished on the rat pups we do put them onto uh, African soft furred rats because obviously they're, they're going to be stopping in our collection and I want the best for my snake uh, and I feel that the, that the African soft fur rat is a better rat in general. Again, guys, there's nothing wrong with feeding your snakes standard rats. Nothing whatsoever. A few people have actually mentioned that they are harder to get hold of. Uh, which, again, guys, going back to that, making sure you've got a good supply of African soft fur rats if you do choose to swap them over. Uh, the other thing that was mentioned was actually selling a snake that's only eating African soft fur rats, that they have noticed when they are advertising the snake that that is almost like a negative, um, you know, a negative thing. So, oh, I'm selling this snake, but he's only eating African soft fur rats. There's two ways of looking at that. African soft fur rats are a better rodent for your snake. Again, guys, this is what I feel and what I've noticed. So that's, that to me is a bit of a positive thing. Yes, it may drive the price down because of people's mentality of, you know, it's harder to get this type of rat. But as someone's mentioned down in the comment box on the last video, uh, in the States, uh, there's a company called Perfect Prey, uh, which do sell African soft fur rats. Um, and you can go on their website and have a quick look at that. So, um, Again, guys, you need to think about things before you start just jumping the gun and going, yeah, 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 we're going to get them on African soft rats, everything's going to be great, blah, blah, blah. 
you've got to think future. Can you and or will you be able to always get those African soft food rats? Um, so if you've got your snake on an African soft food rat diet only, okay, and that snake is coming up for sale. Now, again, guys, whatever snakes I'll keep in the collection, they're fed on African soft food rats because they're staying in my collection. I have no plans on releasing them and letting them go into another collection. But let's say for whatever for whatever reason I was sort of upgrading my females, you know, from a, a single gene to a double gene or you know triple gene, whatever. Then what I will do before I let that animal go, I will work on that animal by trying to swap it either onto rats or give it so it's having a varied diet of rats and multis. Okay, and there's a couple of nice tricks or, or bits and pieces which you can do to swap them over or change the food and, and the habits and stuff. So I'm going to try and run through them really quickly. First things first, obviously when they go into a freeding frenzy, okay, normally around about breeding time and they're building them fat storages to build up their follicles for to give good viable eggs. That's the time when you see them at the front of your, of your cage and you can see them there, they're ready to, to launch at you. The minute you open the cage, that's the time to offer them a rat, okay? Nine times out of 10, feeding response kicks in, bang, they've got it, okay? That's the time to offer them a rat. If you get one that's a little bit picky, what you can do, another little trick which does work, and I have used it before, is to offer them an African soft bird rat, let them take it, and as they're coiling it, Get yourself another little rat, only like um, I don't know a wiener, a, a small wiener rat or a larger, you know, whatever you feel is appropriate for that snake. And while it's coiling round the African soft furred rat, put the normal rat into the coils. Shut the drawer, leave it. What I have found is that snake thinks that it's killed two rats at the same time. So once it's at one, it will follow it through by eating the other. Okay, and then obviously as the time goes on, you can obviously wean it from, you know, from giving it that first rodent being a multi or an African soft furred rat. Multis is what we call them over here in the UK. Giving them that African soft furred rat, you can swap that to being just a, a rat weaner. And again, what you got to think is, guys, this is all standard stuff this is stuff that you know again if you're paying attention to your snakes watching your snakes and seeing how they're acting you know when they're going to be hungry you know that that last meal wasn't enough to fill them up give them something else and that's the best time to swap them from that african soft furred rat onto that rat which i haven't i haven't had any problems with swapping an animal from one to the other i'm not saying you will or you won't have problems it can happen like I said, guys, there are some, you know, it's not the end of the world. There are some things you can do. So don't be afraid of swapping your animals onto African soft furred rats. Like I said, the only thing you've got to do, make sure you've got a good supply of them. And obviously, think of the future. Okay, these snakes, is that snake going to stay in your collection? Is it going to be part of your breeding team? If it is, you want the best for that snake. So I have a couple of grown up uh, babies down here uh, that I'm growing up, some of the uh, calico line. You know, there's a clan female, there's a GHI, the banana, there's all sorts. So they're staying and they're being part of the breeding team uh, for a couple of years. So they're going to have the best, okay? Because I want the best out of them, I want the best for them, which I feel is African soft furred rats. I have nothing against rats. I, I do feed, like I said, a varied diet sometimes on some of my females. You know, I will offer. You know, some of the males, when they, you know, it's that time of year breeding season, they're a little funny. They're real strange. You know, they don't really, they're not interested in, in, in feeding. All they're interested in is breeding. But you want to give them something to try and help them sustain their energy level or just keep themselves up there. Well, occasionally what I've done, I've given them a mouse. Again, another, it's close. Um, what I mean by that is, <coughs> giving them a, a mouse or, or mice can make them mice eaters so you've got to be you know guys you know your animals you know what works what doesn't work all I'm trying to do is just give you guys some little tips some little hints 
but we do what we find works um, and again like I said we all have issues you know everyone has issues even the big breeders you know they all have issues um, regarding bits and pieces this that, and the other feeding this you know all sorts all I want to do is just try and give you guys some help some tips some hints at the end of the day you know people have helped me I want to help people so there's ways and means of doing things guys all right so hope this sort of helps clear up a few things um, some great comments have been put in the last video in the comment boxes below uh, it's a real good debate you know there's pros and cons for everything guys um, I'm just giving you what I feel works for me and I've had great success all the, the African soft fur rats that we breed their temperament is perfect again if you go in to any type of rodent cage or you know where there's babies and that mom's feeding she's going to protect her young okay guys so she may come at you or may go to bite you if she's coming from one end of the cage to the other guys she's a little bit crazy i think ultimately you need to change the uh change your uh, african soft fur rat colony or rat colony and sort of get yourself some nice tamer rats because trust me guys it does breed into the uh, the babies their temperament does breed in okay guys and again don't be afraid to go in there touch handle you now they'll get used to your hands you know but if you've got a few in there they're a little bit crazy you know ninja rats guys you don't need that because that's just going to make things a lot difficult and their babies again what we found is their babies tend to follow suit okay guys Hope this helps. Please, if there's any sort of questions, please put them in the comment boxes below. I really love hearing your suggestions and, and hearing your comments. And, and again, guys, I'm always learning. So if you know anything, please put in the comment boxes below because I love to learn. Okay, guys? Hope everyone's having a great season. Um, coming soon, just to let you know, we should have some eggs, fingers crossed, uh, from a clown female, which should be dropping at the end of this month. So again, look out for them videos as well. Um, and we've had a new pickup, uh, which I'll try and do a video of. He's just in here. He's just chilling out at a little bit, so I'm just letting him settle in, and we'll see how he gets on. And I'll probably do a uh, little show and tell on that little guy. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.